something for me dropped away. And it was this, this incessant, incessant, ambiguous, freakishly fervent energy that was needing to attain something and get something from this whole spiritual thing that we do. And I, I truly couldn't fathom my life without that up until probably day five, I was in a grappling about something and there was <clears throat> all this pain that I was feeling and this deeper peace that was beginning to like surge through my body. And in the nighttime, I was journaling until late and then something the next morning or in the night just poof, gone, vanished. And at first I didn't know what had lifted. I, di I didn't know what had gone. But it was and has been this aspect of me that is really, really needing something from this journey. And needing it to feed me something for my own ambition, for my own ego, for my own pride and my own structures. And really to feed my own powerlessness and the depths of pain that linger there. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I attained anything, because I didn't. But rather, I was able to really vastly include myself. And include that powerlessness, and include all those structures. And therefore, a greater capacity of that which I am was able to expand and is, is living right here now. Oh, it's not out there. It's not I have to cut off the world and go in a cave. It's right here. Imagine that. I feel a greater capacity to be able to hold both dualities of the immense shit that I go through and not need to go figure it out and undermine it and get to the bottom of it so I can understand who I am. And the other side of like the, the deeper, you know, peace and silence and stillness that I might come across or rather that might just come across me in a moment. And, and so my heart feels full and alive with that vitality, with that presence, with that knowing. That I don't need to cut one part of myself out to be able to embrace this. And that I don't need to go say fuck the world and go off into my solitude all the time to embrace this and to embrace that. And so what I'm walking with now is that this aspiration is enough and I don't need to grip it and hold on to it and suck the marrow out of it until that there's nothing left and there was nothing even there in my grasping. But really, that my yearning in my heart is enough and now I can walk in this world. And now I can go do the human ordinary things that I've neglected. So for that, I'm extraordinarily grateful to each and every one of you. Yeah. Thank you.